Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Mushoku Tensei episode number 10. Alright, in the previous episode, it was a turning point of an episode. And uh, we saw like uh, Rudy and Eris, they got teleported to the demon continent. And they made a new character. Uh, it, he's, he was called Ruijet, Ruijet Superdia, I think. Yeah, He's, he was one of the superds and uh, like one of those, you know, those demons who people are extremely scared of. And he told us her, like his story, like what actually happened and how the, the spears that is like their like soul uh, were contaminated and like it kind of made everyone uh, lose their mind and start killing each other. <clears throat> like he like told them that story and like why their reputation are in is like is in tatters now and they also met um uh, roxy's parents which was quite unexpected uh but like thinking about it now like yeah like roxy is a demon and like she was the one who you know kind of uh talked about spirits in front of rudy so like it was nothing too surprising because like seeing rudy's parents and rudy's tribes in a place like this yeah and uh like just like uh and rigid is a pretty nice guy like he has a bit of uh what can i say like um like he had a child who he lost and uh like because of that he wants to like he's quite you know soft towards children and that's why like seeing rudy and eris uh like alone in a place like this he decided to uh lead them to the human continent and that's why they started journey uh, started their journey back to the uh, their home so yeah i'm sure we'll get more of the adventure today and let's see and we still don't know what happened to gilane uh, let's see if we get more information in this episode so yeah guys without further ado let's get started with mushoku tensei episode number 10 all right i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here thank you to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one, go. <laughs> Eris is having his the time of her life. Wow. <laughs> oh boy. Oh my god. They're eating them. Okay. Oh boy. Oh my god. Oh my god, Rudy. I feel you, man. I feel you. <laughs> beef. Beef. Rice and beef. Oh my god. Hmm. What? Wait, did they already arrive? Or not, okay. I was thinking they time skip again or something. Rikarisu. Okay. Oh, what is this? A passage? A dungeon? <laughs> oh no, it's just a passage. Okay. Oh no. What will they do now? Dead end. Dead end. Okay, what the hell is that? Some kind of monster? Okay, Eris. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, I was not expecting that. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, Aries. What? Hmm, this guy is some kind of... Oh, they can die kids here, yeah. And kind of, you know... Uh... 
Yeah, they can die here, sir. Okay, let's see how he looks. Okay, let's see. What color is his hair? Um, it's blue, I think, but. Wow. So good. Yeah, like isekai animes should be like this, you know, like going to new places, meeting new races, uh, like adventure, you know, dungeon crawling, treasure. Like this is like like a JRPG, you know, like the type of like games like like I used to play. Like so good. I had such an amazing time. Like those JRPGs and ARPGs. Hmm. Okay. Oh, she, he bought her that. <laughs> okay. Wow, this song is quite nice. It's, it's an, an, another song. So, like not the usual opening we see like here. Okay, there will be, okay. All right. Come on, show us his face. Yeah, blue, it's blue. What about the, the um, you know, the eye, red eye? Oh, they're betting. Damn. Uh, whoa. Oh, damn, look at that eye patch. <laughs> look at his hair. Okay, Rudy. Calm down. <laughs> okay. Come on, bro. Okay. Um, no. Okay, no one's getting scared. Wait, what? Um, yeah, like what? Face, this is a face palm moment. What the? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> okay, I was not expecting that. Okay. Okay, let's... Ah, oh boy. Oh, oh my god, that's quite, yeah. Um... <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> um, no, we don't need an advice from a horse. Um Oh my god. <laughs> Rija is getting pissed off. I can see. These guys are, you know, they're inviting trouble themselves. <laughs> Ha! 
Today we're having frog stew. <laughs> oh boy. Ah. Shame, no frog stew. But okay, well. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was their plan. Oh, that's clever, you know? Okay, okay, okay. That's clever, you know? What? What's this place? Whoa. <laughs> Eris is having the time of her life. <laughs> what the? Um Oh boy. Okay, Eris Eris Oh boy wow punch Oh Okay Oh Uh Yeah Oh my god Oh, is it like... Uh, it's okay, <laughs> yeah. Just <laughs> patting her head. Party name? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Bachido Goblin. What? <laughs> uh. Yeah, like it can be mended. Let's stitch it up, you know? What? Oh, he's checking his money. Five stone pieces. Oh, okay. So you gotta rank up quickly, you know? Oh my god, Hitokami is here. So you'll like start like interacting with him during his dreams now? Okay, he, he's like the, you know? Yeah. He's like the advice person. Okay, come on, let's see. Let's hear it. <laughs> okay, that's why he's always so... Obscuous. <laughs> oh my god. Oh.
oh okay maybe the cat is you know like some wealthy person in, like lost that cat or something and will reward him handsomely if they find maybe it's something like that oh she is awake what's the matter must be thinking about his parent her parents Yeah. And grandfather was okay. He was not with them. So. <laughs> what the? Yeah, what is this place? Okay, yeah, it's quite easy for them to find something. Signs of struggle. Oh, what? <laughs> okay. Oh, monsters or something like that. Oh, what the, the hell? Yeah, like they've been captured. Some kind of okay. So they're like uh, black market traders or something. Oh boy! Wow. What the? Oh, Rudy. <laughs> okay. Bam. All right. <clears throat> You're under arrest. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> Oh! Oh my god. Yeah, he got too close. Uh. What? Oh no! Is this rigid? Damn. Yeah, it must be rigid. Okay. Oh. Yeah, the Yeah, I noticed this before. I'm going to talk about this later on. Like from like during Ghislaine as well. You really have to understand this is a different world, you know. Yeah. 
Oh boy. Yeah, like I knew it. Okay, calm down. Oh boy, wow. Ha. Huh. Okay, like, yeah, like. Yeah. Okay, so he's going to you. Oh, they're going to use them as proxy or something. I think so. Let's see. I think Rudy's going to say that. Yeah, not proxy, but yeah, like this. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Yeah, they're using them as a proxy. Yeah, they're going to interchange it. Yeah. <clears throat> what? Everyone knows it. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, my oh, God. Go home. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go home, go home. Yeah, okay. Ugh. Value of life and the first job. Wow. Okay, damn, that was something. So, yeah, what I was going to talk about. As I said, the title of the story says it, Value of Life. Now, Rudy is a person from our world. And obviously, like, we are people who are not accustomed to seeing death. Like, we are not like them. Like, we're not like adventurers that we go, you know, hunting uh, stuff or like adventuring, kill monsters, kill people if, uh, you know, like problem strikes or something. And that's why, like we like like us people like rudy 
we look at life and death as something which is precious and uh, death is something that we hesitate to carry out unlike these people who are from a completely different world where there are monsters like you know luring like, like all around people like people backstab each other adventurers and uh, like bad adventurers as well thieves and stuff like that and so these people are accustomed to kill people and uh, like the value of life for them is a lot less than us like than Rudy so obviously it's going to be like a new thing to Rudy like it's like a culture shock kind of a thing so <clears throat> okay that's the end all right um, so like we saw this before, uh, the whole thing with Ghislaine, when Ghislaine came in and saved Rudy and Eris and like, you know, like killed the person just like that. And uh, like Rudy looking at a dead body, he got extremely freaked out, which I do not blame him for because like, yeah, like I doubt he has like he had seen any dead body apart from video games in his own world. So yeah, this is quite natural. And at that moment, we saw like Rudy was kind of scared and shaking but Eris at that moment was all like oh like Ghislaine you were late where were you and he she just like went past everything went past the dead body and started you know kind of um, like uh, like like clinging down to Ghislaine and started talking with her and everything and like yeah like the children of this world are also I think kind of accustomed not accustomed but according to them the morals or the rules that have been put into them are like if there are bad people if there's like they try to kill you you should also kill them and stuff like that i'm sure like they're also like they've been taught like that unless and until like they're taught like that they won't be able to survive in this world so like what makes us hesitate to kill people our morals our morals makes us hesitate to take a life and that morals uh, like those morals are something which has been ingrained into us as human beings from our you know birth we know that it is not correct to take a life but these people are not like that from the childhood i think they are told like yeah there will be so many monsters around you uh, like you should kill them if they you know pose a threat to you and <clears throat> like uh, you should uh, you know like if people like someone backstabs you or something of if if there are people who are also bad tries to kill you you should also try to kill them like save yourself something like that like they're told that you should always defend yourself even if it means killing someone else so yeah the like you know the values the morals are different in these two things so what about eris like there is a difference between rudy eris and uh, rujet Okay, let me talk about Rejet first. First, Rejet is like kind of uh, you know what they call chaotic kind of a uh, thing, like a, a personality. Like you, you saw in this episode, like when he like just kicked uh, Rudy, he killed him off like that. Now, yeah, I get it. Like he has like uh, he is kind of like uh, like he has been like he is accustomed to that. He usually does stuff like that because he's from the demon continent and also because like you know he has this whole thing with children like he because he lost his child he is a, a little bit too protective of uh, small children so that's why he got mad and uh, like killed him just like that like like Rujet is like that what about Eris if like if Rujet was not here if only Eris was here with Rudy uh, and like Rudy got kicked like that would Eris uh, uh, kill the uh, person who kicked uh, Rudy? No, definitely not. She won't kill him. Uh, but she would have probably like uh, threw, threw a punch, one or two punches into that person's face and would beat him up probably. That is Eris. Like she, like she does not hesitate in like, uh, but at the same time when like he, she saw uh, Rujet kill that person, she did not, you know, kind of like she, it's, it was nothing to her. She was like, oh, well, another person bites the dust, something like that. So she is more like, uh, what can I say, kind of an, in a neutral position. Like she herself will not like do this kind of stuff. Uh, but if push comes to shove or if stuff like, like problems uh, strikes, she would not hesitate to do it. She is someone like that. And what about Rudy? Rudy is a person from our world. So his morals and his way of life is completely different to these people. 
and like like for him like even if he himself got kicked he you know he did not like he was like oh well like he kicked me i should probably uh be like stand a little further from him so that i don't get kicked from the next um uh like time and he's like that so because obviously like he is from our world he would definitely not kill someone because of a mere kick or he would also definitely not you know uh <clears throat> like uh like she would definitely hesitate if see he sees someone kill that person for a thing like that so that is rudy and i think another factor uh is a big uh you know thing for rudy here is that he has been bullied in his you know uh in his school so like you know if if rudy was not here if someone else who was uh like uh, who was a normal person who was like you know one of those person who okay let's take, take another example if rudy was not isekai but one of his bullies you know those people who bullied rudy was isekai here in rudy's place if someone kicked that person and uh, like you know he got struck what would he done he would definitely not kill him but he would probably get up and you know kind of punch that person and started beating him up he would have do done something like that but why did rudy not do that because rudy himself is accustomed to get like he got beaten up he got bullied he was the victim in his own world so for him he is like a passive type of a person he usually uh like does not you know get mad at these kind of situations because he is like he gets like, he got bullied before another thing i can kind of remember is when eris and rudy was kidnapped you know like when that person slapped rudy across his face rudy was kind of like you know kind of like laughing uh, in an awkward way at that moment and that also shows that he is a passive type of a character he himself will not you know uh, engage in violence uh, on his own but he is probably get like you know get beaten up in that process so i don't know i think uh, he needs to probably change this gradually you know because it is uh, uh, like uh, this is a different type of a world uh, if you don't kick people here people will kick you or something like that and i think like he needs to change this in the future uh, it's quite difficult to change this thing you know because you are completely trying to change your personality which is quite difficult and uh, i don't know how much time it will take or will he ever, like ever be able to do it or not but i hope so because uh yeah this this world is not like that like if you if you get beaten here you should beat someone up otherwise you won't be able to survive here like uh <clears throat> richard and eris was here that's at this moment but like uh if some in some place like uh, rudy faces a problem which he himself has to uh you know uh like solve uh he has to you know kind of change his personality because of that for that reason at least so yeah uh that was that okay so this episode um uh we see them you know kind of like walking uh the whole like first they cross the desert kind of thing and and uh another i i don't know like i was under the, kind of like under the wrong impression like when they were like you know kind of hiding from those monsters who were passing the you know passage um i was i think i was under the wrong impression i thought maybe if they showed the monsters their faces the monster would try to you know like attack them or something because they're humans and they're monsters but then like i realized that no like uh like rudy like roxy's parents are also you know kind of humans like they're demons but they look like humans like they act like humans so like all races are welcome here they were hiding because of richard i like i realized that later on and i was like oh like okay there's something like that <clears throat> like there's like no discrimination here like yeah like a human came here oh we got to kill him nothing like this like i i was kind of under the wrong impression but oh well that that got cleared out and uh like then like we get like uh richard like dyeing his hair and everything and you know what mm, you know we see those animes or uh, not animes but uh like those you know cartoons or yeah like yeah animes as well like where they like kind of <laughs> like you know 
like put a mustache in their face and like their hair style and everything is similar like anyone would be able to say that yeah this is the same person but like no one is able to recognize them or something especially like in pokemon you know like those uh, team rocket moments when they used to <laughs> wear disguises and no one was able to recognize them uh, at, at, at the beginning i thought like he only dyed his hair so why does people like you know do not like they do not even suspect that <clears throat> They're not even suspicious uh, suspicious about the fact that yeah like he has like in you know a red thing in his head maybe he is a spirit and then i realized that dyeing the hair is something new to them like i don't know like i'm not sure but uh, i doubt these people these monsters ever dyed their hair like rudy just you know kind of like got this idea because obviously we are like dyeing our hair is common to us no, like it's not something different but for them i think it's quite different that's why they weren't able to like you know uh, understand that yeah like when they like uh, said that uh, he is a spared uh, everyone was laughing and everything and they're saying like ha, we know spares have green hair this guy has blue hair and at that moment i was thinking like what the hell are they even talking about like you know there's a thing called dye like you can dye your hair so why are they not suspecting them and by the end of the you know uh, episode i realized that oh maybe they are not uh, you know <clears throat> accustomed to people dyeing their hair like maybe that's not a thing here so <laughs> they were unable to you know uh, rec or like like they were not suspicious about richard even after seeing that red thing in his head so yeah <laughs> oh boy and okay and then we get to the next portion um the uh, like uh, Rudy buys Eddie's uh, cloak kind of thing. I'm not sure what that is, jacket. And then, like, they get to this, um, like, uh, adventure guild or, par like, uh, tavern, whatever. And, <coughs> and <laughs> uh, the horse monster and the frog monster were pretty cocky, but the frog monster kind of understood that, oh, messing with them would probably be bad. But the horse monster didn't understand that. I'm sure he will understand later on. <laughs> uh, and then, uh, like uh, in the next portion, we s meet another a new party of. I'm not sure who, what type of monsters they were. One were, one had like little horns in their um, forehead, and I think he is a kind of a demon, some or something like that like oni no, no they're not oni i don't think they're oni because uh, as far as i know onis have one horn don't they or they have two horns i'm not sure but uh, oh no yeah onis have two horns okay they might uh, that, that little you know that uh, uh, red colored monster uh, like person must might be an oni or something or something along those lines and there was a bird with them and a humanoid four-armed person <laughs> oh boy and i'm not sure if we will meet them again in the future but uh like they kind of introduce themselves so i hope and i think we'll meet them somehow somewhere yeah and eris got freaked out at that moment because he tore like rudy's jacket <laughs> and beat started beating them up oh my god and uh boy and then we uh, oh then we meet hitogami again he gives a little bit of an advice you know hitogami uh, like what he is like like what he reminds me of you know you <laughs> you know those like uh, games or like jrpgs where they have this one character who you always go to uh, for asking for advice <laughs> and then like gives you hints little bits of hints uh, he seems like that person <laughs> oh boy like he gave them another hint and uh, which is probably also like which is going to help them again and according to the hint they started <clears throat> looking for that cat or that whatever that creature is that was not a cat by the way that was more like a leopard or something but anyways <laughs> and uh, then they uh, <clears throat> come across this uh, another party who were like kidnapping them and using them to like uh, clear those like requests um, like thinking about it that's a good strategy you know like to quickly increase your like party like you know in, in, like gain money increase your party's rank and stuff like they were like kidnapping the animals and then like <laughs> bringing them back like what the hell <laughs> oh boy 
and then like uh, there was this whole uh, thing that happened which i talked about uh, at the like starting of the discussion and uh, the whole thing with like moral morality of like killing people and killing like not killing people and as like the title says the value of life and uh, always as i said before like rudy i think rudy uh, like like the the killing of the thing is something quite, completely different but the one thing i'm concerned about rudy is uh, if he like lets people walk oh, like all over him like this like it was going to be you know uh, like he won't be able to survive like this like like he is like you know he, he is pretty intelligent and everything and he is kind of like uh, like you know mischievous and all but like uh, when like problems strikes and everything like he does not you know kind of retaliate to stuff he usually goes to the passive thing he's kind of passive which obviously is because of the bullying that he used to uh, you know like was subjected to in his real world so yeah I, as i was saying so he needs to change that i think uh, unless and until like uh, you know like uh, like these are like things that are concerning him if something like you know concerns his loved ones or something like if somehow eris gets into trouble and we like uh, Ruiz, uh, rudy uh, faces something like some problem like that like uh, Ares is held hostage and Rudy has a chance to kill that person who is holding Ares hostage or something and there's no one else to help him like he has to take a life at that moment you know like he cannot uh, like be passive passive in that moment so like he will lost uh, like, he will lose Ares like that so uh, I'm like the thing I'm concerned about is like pro like stuff like that so like he needs to you know change this and I'm sure he'll like you know get accustomed to everything as time goes on uh, like the morality of like our world and their world is kind of clashing at this, at this moment so yeah i think like he will need to change this if he wants to survive in this world it's quite difficult you know like to change it because like we are not accustomed to stuff like this and on top of that rudy himself was bullied in like his own world so yeah quite difficult but he will need to do that uh, do this sooner or later <clears throat> And then like they get into a little bit of squabble with um uh like Rijet and Ares kind of defense Rudy at that moment. And yeah. And then like as I thought, like they are using those like monsters as a proxy, like they'll take up like you know quests and they'll like Rudy will also take up a e, e quest or something. They'll interchange their quests, uh, Rudy will fight those like higher level quests and like uh, and then like uh, they'll come back and cash in the money and the money will um, uh, like i'm sure like rudy will take the money and the, like the amount of money that he gets he will give it to them and like they'll interchange everything like that so yeah and i doubt they're going to you know trick them because <laughs> they saw like reject kill one of their own person so yeah i doubt they'll like uh, try any more tricks but the horse was annoying. He came again in the end and started yapping about stuff. Uh, I don't know. And I think probably he'll get beaten up the next episode. <laughs> and I'm waiting for that. <laughs> oh boy. So yeah, that was it. That was this episode. So it's a good episode. It's uh, like they're trying to do stuff and uh, like, you know, uh, getting money and everything to continue the journey. So yeah, it's like, uh, like a stop for them for like a moment for like a momentary amount of time and after gaining money they'll again start traveling so yeah so anyways guys thank you guys for watching so this was Mushoku Tensei episode number 10 so yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to share I'll be sure to check them out and I'm not sure how many episodes this season has uh, it will either be 11 or 12 if it's 11 episodes then the next episode will be the end episode uh, if it's I, I think it's 12 i'm not sure if it's 12 and we have two more episodes left so yeah and uh, we're also getting a second portion uh it, it is already confirmed uh for this season like it's like broken into two uh, you know two parts uh as like animes are all like usually broken up so i have to check out when the second you know portion of this season is going to come out i'm not sure but it's coming out soon i think so yeah, we won't have to wait for too long. So, yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. So, this was Mushoku Tensei episode number 10. I'll see you guys in the next video, I'll see, uh, in the next week. So, until then, goodbye and have a nice day.